Absolutely. And over the past few years, finding affordable health and quality health care has just become a problem for so many mm -hmm. people in our communities. But in Alamance County, thankfully, the Open Door Clinic now operates with the goal of providing free health care to residents in need. Yeah, joining us now is Lori Barham. She is the executive director of the Open Door Clinic. Good morning, Lori. Good morning. Thanks How for, are you guys? We're great. Good. Thanks for joining us on this dreary uh, Tuesday. Uh, as we get into this, can you talk about the history of how the clinic uh, came to be? Yes, so um, in 1990, a group of physicians in Alamance County uh, realized there was a need for uh, a clinic to meet the needs of those that were uninsured. So they got together and um, formed the clinic. Um, it was first come, first serve for a while. And then as we've built programs and gotten larger, um, the uh, clinic has grown quite a bit to over 500 patients. Mm. And um, and we now have appointments and we're in a new building. So we're very thankful for that. Well, then you really can see how it speaks mm -hmm. to the need too in fulfilling that. So Lori, tell us exactly what services Open Door offers to the now 500 patients. Um, so our basic um, role here in the community is to meet the medical need of those that are uninsured and um, are at 200 at or below 200% of the federal poverty guide, guidelines. Um, so we have a medical clinic, but now we also have a mental health program and we have a social worker that works with patients on their social needs as well. We try to treat the whole patient, um, not just their medical needs. Um, and our mental health program, we have over 70 patients and we have performed over 500 visits in 2022. My goodness, Lori, it seems like you guys are really getting your hands into all the areas mm -hmm. that, you know, people around the community may mm -hmm. need. So what has the impact been like? Have you heard any success stories? Are people just thankful that you all are, have been around for so many years at this point? Um, we, we have a lot of success stories. Um, one of the most recent was a patient that um, had been in our mental health program, um, but was struggling with depression and feeling overwhelmed. And she was able to reach out and our social, work, social worker was able to help her um, and prevent her from committing suicide and help her. And she kind of held her hand through the whole process and was able to get her to the other side and she now has a job and things are looking up for her. And we have many success stories like that. Our mental health program is one of a kind. It's a collaborative program with the medical physician, the mental health or the licensed clinical social worker, and then a volunteer, voluntary um, psychiatrist that um, collaborates with those three in a weekly meeting and they discuss patients, they discuss um, therapy, medication therapy, and um, and then they go back, the, the licensed clinical social worker and the medical um, physician go back and, and bring this to life with the patient and help them. And it's an unusual program, but it, it really does work. We've been doing it here for three or four years. Lori, you're really talking uh, truthfully about how you're fulfilling the need uh, in that community and the clinic is fulfilling that need. How do Triad residents help or how can they get involved? We do have a website, opendoorclinic.net, and you can go there and read up on the clinic, um, find out a little bit more about what we're about. You can donate there. You can sign up to volunteer. We can always use volunteers. Um, and pretty much anything. You can look at our application and the requirements and pretty much get any information you need. Um, and then you can call the office as well um, and speak to one of our volunteers. 
All righty. Thank you so much for your time, Lori, and for what you're doing to serve our community this morning here. You can head to um, the website opendoorclinic.net for folks at home to learn more about the Open Door Clinic like you heard Lori mention. And most of all, to volunteer and get involved. Absolutely.